Zi ceva Mai nu că ești Cosmin, trebuie să așa să-și lege câinele Hello? Hello? Să le faci lor poza Heavy, too heavy Se, se nang, ai... If he knows how to... Ba, la ok, nu mai ai cântat, nu? Vi că se nu nang, oa? Good day everyone and thanks for e-riding with me. My name is Mihai and I have been living and riding in Vietnam for over 16 years. This video is the first of a series of videos exploring three main segments of the so-called Hazang Loop in Vietnam. Ride with me and I'll tell you about this amazing route and I'll also give you some tips. Hazang province is located in the northernmost part of Vietnam, sharing borders with China. It is known for its stunning landscapes, diverse ethnic cultures and rugged mountain terrain. It is one of the most beautiful mountainous provinces in Vietnam. I would say definitely top 3. Today we are traveling 44 kilometers from Yen Ming town to Dong Van town. The highlight of this section is Tamaa Pass, a short but stunning pass with an awesome viewpoint. Tamaa Pass is located right on National Road 4C, or QL4C, as it will appear on Google Maps. Mama, ce tare! Ca transfăgări așa, așa? Asta vreau să întrebi, ai fost pe el, nu? Am fost cu mașina când eram mic copil. QL4C, which stands for Quoc Lo Bon Se, and which means National Road 4C, is the major road around Hazang province. And it runs from Hazang city up north to Dong Van town, and then south to Meo Vac district and beyond, which is why it is called the Hazang Loop. Tama Pass offers breathtaking views of the surrounding mountains and valleys typical of the northern Vietnamese landscapes. It's known for its winding roads and impressive vistas, making it a popular route for travelers exploring the Hazang Loop or simply enjoying the natural beauty of the region. My friends, their puppy and I chose late January for this trip and to be honest, you may want to choose another time. Why? Because the weather can be cold or very cold in Hazang in January and unfortunately, we were welcomed by very cold weather this time, as low as 5 degrees Celsius. And it may sound okay, but being on two wheels out in the open with strong winds hitting you from the front Plus, with the humidity in Vietnam means 5 degrees is way too cold. We were shivering at times. Parts of QL4C or National Road 4C are known for their winding roads and mountainous terrain, which can make driving challenging. QL4C is not just a transportation route, but also a popular route for tourists exploring the stunning landscapes and cultural diversity of Hazan province. Motorcycling from Yen Ming to Dong Van in Hazan province is a popular route among adventurous travelers. If you're renting a motorbike, Ensure it's in good condition and suitable for mountainous terrain. Hazang's roads can be narrow and winding, so a reliable bike is essential. Check brakes and always take your bike for a test drive before renting it. Pe trebuie să mă uit la ce a ieșit în primul rând să vedem. 
Și în al doilea rând? Și băi, după 3 minute să mergi tu mai ușor, adică eu merg ce mai încet ca să fiu și un video. Ba trec și după aia mă să mă depășiți iarăși. Gas stations are limited in rural areas, so fill up your tank when possible. There are guest houses and homestays in Yanming and Dongwan where you can stay overnight. Drive cautiously and be mindful of other vehicles, cyclists and pedestrians sharing the road. Motorcycling from Yanming to Dongwan is not only about the journey but also about experiencing the rugged beauty and cultural diversity of Hazang province. It's an adventure that rewards travelers with unforgettable landscapes and encounters with local communities along the way. If you travel around the first days of Tet or the Vietnamese Lunar New Year, late January or early February, you shouldn't get into much traffic in Hazang province. Google Maps says the journey takes around 1.5 hours by motorbike, but trust me, you'll want to stop a lot on the way. I personally stop plenty of times for photos, for coffee or just for looking at the scenery. We covered the 44 kilometers in about 4 hours, including all these stops. There are of course other options, private cars, local buses and shared minivans take this route, although departure times may vary. It's advisable to check locally for the latest information. Taxis are also available in Yanming, but they can be more expensive compared to other options. Negotiating the fare beforehand is recommended. Check the weather forecast before your trip, as road conditions can be affected by rain. Now, about accommodation, if I'm in Hazang province, I would always choose homestays. They offer the most authentic experience. The province is home to several ethnic minority groups, including the Hmong, Thai, Zhao and others. Travelers to Hazang have the opportunity to immerse themselves in local culture through homestays in ethnic minority villages, participating in traditional festivals, and exploring local markets known for their vibrant colors and unique products. On this very route, you'll be on the Dongvan Karst Plateau, which is a geological and cultural heritage site of northern Vietnam. It is renowned for its karst landscape, which features rugged limestone peaks, deep valleys and distinctive geological formations. These unique karst landscapes were formed over millions of years. The Dongvan Karst Plateau was designated a UNESCO Global Geopark in 2010. This recognition acknowledges its outstanding geological features and the cultural significance of its diverse ethnic communities. Despite its natural and cultural riches, the Dongvan Karst Plateau faces challenges such as preserving its biodiversity, managing tourism sustainably, and supporting the livelihoods of local communities in a rapidly changing economic and environmental landscape.
The plateau is not only a geological marvel but also a cultural treasure that offers visitors a glimpse into Vietnam's diverse ethnic tapestry amidst stunning natural beauty. Overall, Hazang Province offers adventurous travelers a chance to explore off-the-beaten-path destinations, connect with diverse cultures, and marvel at some of Vietnam's most breathtaking natural landscapes. Thank you for watching and do subscribe, like and share if you enjoy this video. Also, please check my other videos about this amazing province and about the Hazan Loop.